going to have a fun little thing to do today. Uh, this is going to be a sort of unique presentation to somewhat uh, prove a point or to kind of give you an idea of how my uh, theories work as far as uh, total fertility um, programs for basically nurturing all points, uh, including your soil. So um, I have in front of me some food items and here's how this is going to go. This, hyang, this little steak, you see it's nice and juicy, it's running around. This is going to represent something. Now I'm going to be cutting to a different camera here so you can see this. This is going to be our NPK program, how it traditionally is. Our one pound of nitrogen that everybody's putting out and how programs are built. And basically, the program looks a little something like this. You've got your nitrogen, you've got your phosphorus, and if you're lucky, you know, you're gonna throw a little K in there, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this, like this. There we go. Nice NPK, and then we're gonna take this like this, and then put that on here, and there's your sandwich. Now, actually, that's probably not that bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably, probably fairly tasty, and I, I think that you would enjoy this, but this is all that your lawn is getting on a typical traditional program, and it's just too much at once. So, uh, for some people who are in, into nutrition or, or you know, understand this piece, um, nitrogen and protein are often interchangeable, and you can see that on a scale of um, protein is six times um, what nitrogen is. So like even on a bag of urea, you can see that where it's 46% nitrogen and it's 240 some odd percent, 256 uh, percent protein. So this would be fine, but you're not gonna get too far for a long time if this is all you're ever getting, this pound that, that everything has to eat, right? This is all that the grass is getting. So it tends to neglect a whole other spectrum, all right? So what I've done and what I've been doing to sort of, you know, adjust the industry's view of this is that if this is your pound of N that you feed your grass every six weeks or whatever, you hear this all the time. Bermuda, it's a nitrogen hog. It requires X amount of N. Uh, fescue, it requires X amount. Uh, bluegrass requires X amount. Centipedes, X amount. St. Augustine is X. It's always the same, but it's always a pound. It just depends on how it goes out. So, you know, you have for, for traditional lawn care, it's just widely accepted as four pounds of nitrogen a year. And I've gone through this before. There's a lot of areas that don't do that. I, for one, have never done that. Uh, the highest program that we would ever have out there that would be uh, put together by my company is about 2.1 pounds. And that's just to get people the idea that they don't have to use as much. I've had companies this year who have done just standard granular fertilization for years. I said, why don't you just give it a try, test going a third less. They say, well, guess what? We didn't notice any difference in the health and quality of the turf, but we saved 30% over what we would normally spend. Now, the reason for that is this. You have to be thinking about programs like complete meals, okay? And complete meals every time. So throughout the course of the year, there's going to be different times where the needs of the grass change. But the beauty of that is with soil, you can load certain things in, especially some of your minor uh, and micronutrients that'll stay put for longer until the plant actually needs it. So we transition into something rather than this into we're going to build a bit better of a program, okay? Which is just going to start quite simply. We don't need all of that nitrogen. So a typical recommendation for my program spring and fall is only gonna have about a half a pound of nitrogen. That's it, we never go more, more than that half a pound, all right? So we're gonna kind of spread that out in different types of our nitrogen. So yeah, we're gonna put this on here. We're gonna call this, uh, this salami here is going to be our, say, ammonium based. This is going to be more of our salty one. And I'm still I'm going to go back to this steak because why wouldn't you want to do that? We're going to put that on here too. So we're going to get like a little bit, but not those giant pieces that we were talking about. We just need a little bit of it. So now I've, I've cut the whole thing down by 75% already. But now I want to make sure I get all of my other stuff in there. I want to have my my FOSS, okay, and you know, when I have potassium. Now, the reason I said FOSS, we don't produce anything with phosphorus because the grass gives up um, 
you know, you, your, your grass cycles so much phosphorus just because it's alive. And again, so many places have stopped allowing phosphorus to even be allowed. Um, it, it's just shown that it's not really all that necessary. Okay, so we got to keep going here. Now we want to make sure we get like some calcium in there. You know, good, we're gonna get that. Uh, then we're gonna start getting into like some micro nutrients. Um, you know, we want to get our libidinum and our manganese and our zinc and our copper and all of those other little goodies. And all along the way, make sure that we're packing it full of carbon. Okay, these good sugars for the soil and for the plant. Uh, to be able to just function better, all right? Then we get into all of our small, minor, super tiny micronutrients. You want to get all those in there too. So this is all part of your program that you're building in. You don't want to neglect any piece of it, okay? Then you're talking about adding in some soil corrective stuff here, some, here's your humic and your fulvic and maybe some, some other biostimulants that you're getting in there to help the rooting of everything and you get that so we have all that in there okay it's lovely you know we're getting oh look at all this this is just great we're just gonna build this beautiful program these this more robust system okay that you can fully appreciate when it's all said and done and I don't know what you guys like on it we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna get a little bit of iron let's just throw some iron on there uh -huh. Let's do that real quick. And maybe some sulfur, a little sulfur on there. We're gonna put some of this on here like this. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. I'll throw that on there, now we've got this. Okay, so now we have this huge balance of like salts, sugars, our nitrogen, our carbon, everything. Set up into this beautiful sandwich, okay? This should be the fertility for your turf. It handles the soil, it handles the plant health, and it's not just trying to force just a chunk of something down at once, causing a lot of surge growth and then nothing else. So think about both the products that are being used and how complete they are, and also the program itself. The program itself, because your season can be built the same way. You can think about it like a sandwich. You're building it up so that everything gets handled all the time and then you end up with just pure beauty. So, there you go. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this, and uh, you guys can send questions or comments to me. I would be more than happy to uh, answer those for you, and I'll see you all real soon.